In our previous section, we briefly went over how to create some new sheet sets. One of those methods was starting with a blank sheet set and inserting some layouts. Let me show you how to do that a little bit more slowly and you can work with me on this. So we want to make a new sheet set. So we come up to the sheet set manager, click on the sheet set button here and select the new sheet set. What we're going to do here is create a sheet set from just inserting layouts or from existing drawings. So that's the option you want to pick. Select here, then click next. And you know what, at any time when you're working on this and you forget exactly which method that it is you're using and what the differences are, when you select on it, note that down here, it gives you a bit of a description on what it does. Also keep in mind that regardless of which method you use to create your brand new sheet set, once you get it started, everything else is the same for either method. So it really only matters, you know, what's easiest for you and what you have at the start of your project. So we're going to go with the assumption that you have some existing drawings. They've been started and you want to create a sheet set and just start it up. So we click next. Now we give the sheet set a name. So we're going to say, this is a blank and insert files. That way we know what it is. We'll give it a description and you would give this a project type description. So maybe your project is creating a new roller table for some conveyor belt area manufacturing thing. Okay, so that's what you would put in here. Now you wanna to browse to where your file is located at. Now we're working in our sheet set folder right on the C drive and I did that again to make it easier and make sure everything works properly. Just save it right here in this sheet set folder. Click open and we can now set up any sheet set custom properties. When you start this way, everything's blank. The only information in here gives you is your page setup override. And this is the default DWT file that comes with AutoCAD. And this is AutoCAD 2013 specifically at this time. And so this is the location where that file is. If that's fine with you, then go ahead and use it. Otherwise, I suggest you get a DWT file and use that. And again, once you set the sheet set up, you can go in here and you can change which DWT file you're using for this. And this happens to be the same DWT file. This is for the sheet set creation template. Now you may never use this feature. This is a more of an advanced feature in AutoCAD for sheet sets that a lot of people don't use. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So we can set up our project number. I'm gonna just call this a simple one, two, three, four, five. Give it a proper name here for the project. I'm just going to call it blank. And the rest I'm going to leave out. Now do we need any custom properties? One that you're probably always going to want to add is sheet total. Change the value. Here I'm just going to say we're going to need five sheets for this. And it is a sheet set value, not a sheet value. So I'm going to click OK. OK. And then OK again. So I've set up these basic things. Now I click Next. And if you make a mistake at any time, you can go back. Next. Hit Browse. Now I have some files here in this example folder in our sheet sets on our C drive. We're going to click OK, and it's going to automatically add these to it. Click Next, and this will show you which sheets you've added, a little bit of information about your sheet set, and this is just a way for you to check and to say, hey, you know what, this is correct, or oh, you know, you know what, I messed up, I don't want it saved in this folder. Well, if that's the case, you can go back, make your changes, and then keep clicking Next. It will save what you've already done, so you won't have to redo it. And that's a really nice feature. When you're all complete, just click finish. And at any time you want to cancel, hit cancel and it won't have saved or created anything. And there you go. This is your blank and insert files sheet set. It's created. You have these drawings right here. If you double click on any of them, it will automatically open them up, which is a great feature. So that's one method to use. You start with a blank sheet set or really no sheet set at all and you just insert files and add some custom things to it as needed. Now, if you have just a small amount of drawings in your sets, you know, they're not very large, you know, half a dozen or so, then you may want to do this because creating a template sheet set file may not be necessary. So that's fine. You know, if this is all you need to do is to add sheets in here and all you plan on doing is using this to quickly reference the files and to print them all, 
in just as minimal amount of steps as you want to, that's perfectly fine. Sheet sets will do that for you. And using this method is a good way to do it.